Hi everybody, it's Mr. Black here and I'm pumped. If you're watching this video, you're a percussionist, you're excited to find out how to set up your bell kit and get ready to make the very first few sounds that you need to. Now, good news percussion, you, you pretty much have an easy setup compared to our woodwind friends like clarinets and saxophones, but there's some really important things that we need to make sure we go over. So, check out this video and at the end I'll have a terrible dad joke that you may or may not laugh at. Hope you enjoy. See you there. All right, so we got our percussion kit all ready to go. Now your kit might look a little different than this one, but they're all pretty much the same, so follow along and we'll get you there. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure our bell kit, by the way, these are my hands, check out my hands. Woo, I talk with my hands sometimes. That's really good. Okay, this is our bell kit, and here's what you wanna do. You wanna make sure your bell kit is on the floor, not on your lap. If you put it on your lap, chances are it's gonna fall over and break, or it might break someone's foot, and you don't wanna break someone's foot. That's bad for you, don't do it. All right, so this is our bell kit. Here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna unzip it. I already went ahead and did that, it's, it's magical, I know. You can, you can figure that part out. And we're gonna open up the front latch. Whoop, fantastic. All right, right off the bat for my bell kit, there's a lot of stuff just all thrown around here. So we got a few things. Number one, we have our drum pad. Chances are your bell kit comes with something very similar to this. We'll get to this at the end of sixth grade. So we're gonna start with our actual bell kit before we get to the drum pad. So let's find that. I'm gonna put my drum pad to the side. Aha, our bell kit itself. Here are our bells. Looks like a, uh, a mini version of a xylophone, perhaps you've seen in sixth grade band, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna take this and, uh, you know what, I'm gonna put this off to the side too, to start. But the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and make our stand. So let's look for that. Mine comes in two pieces. The first one looks like this. This is the part that's at the bottom, because I can tell, because it's got big, uh, basically feet, I guess. That's the technical term. Definitely feet, totally. We're gonna go with feet, okay. So I'm gonna loosen that up and extend it like this. And here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna move my bell kit uh, case here in a second, just so that we can all see. There we go, okay. I got the foot part of my stand right here, which we're in good shape. And then we've got the next part. This is the main body. I'm gonna go with body, because we want foot. I'm gonna go with body, I don't know why. Hey, look, foot, anyways. This is the main body of our bell kit, and we're going to open this up. We're gonna get this rocking and rolling, as I like to call it, and uh, sometimes it'll open up real easily. This is what it looks like. Sometimes you can just open it up real easily, sometimes not so much. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna loosen it and see if it'll extend now. Let's see here. There we go, I extended it. Okay, it's extended. We're gonna tighten it now that it's extended. And the next step is kinda hard. Do you see this part? We wanna put this part and this part. So we wanna make sure that's nice and loose and then we're just gonna glide it in, glide it in. And boom, make sure you don't pinch your fingers like Mr. Black almost totally did not do. Okay, I'm gonna move this up just a bit so you can see everything here. There we go. So this is our bell kit stand and I've got an important phrase that I want you all to remember percussion. Big and big, small and small. And here's what I mean by that. When I have my bell kit stand assembled, like I do, I want the big end on the left and the small end on the right. Here's why, when I go to take my bell kit, it looks like this. Well, we want it to fit perfectly. Some of your bell kits, if you flip it over, have a circle and a screw area. Some of them don't. Uh, it just depends on what type of bell kit you have. So with this particular bell kit, I'm simply going to glide this in so that the big end is in the big area and the small end is in the small, oops, I'm shaking my, my tripod here. There we go. Big end is in the big area over here and the small end is in the small over there. And we're just gonna glide it in so that it fits on all of the feet that I have here. And I wanna make sure that I am, there we go. Now we're in good shape. So with this particular bell kit, uh, one of the things you wanna know is to make sure that it's nice and sturdy. We're gonna lock it into place by tightening it so it doesn't move. And now we've got our bell kit assembled. So let me show you the next part. All right, so true story, I'm really tall. You already knew that this doesn't go any taller. So I'm gonna show you some things. Number one, the next part for bell kit is we wanna make sure we have our mallet. Our mallet grip is really important. When we do this, we wanna make sure we choke up to about the end, about, I don't know, four inches, maybe three or four. And you wanna make sure you wrap your fingers around, except for your thumb. Your thumb is gonna go right here, right on that mallet. And we're gonna bring it out so that our wrist is making the motion not our elbow. We don't want our elbow, we want our wrist to make that motion. We're gonna do the same thing in the right hand. Remember, I can't totally keep my pinky in because I totally tragically had a bad accident with a pineapple. Long story, parents, if you're watching this, ask your kids, long story. Anyways, so I got both of these and I wanna make sure I'm standing up nice and tall 
And when we do go to play, we want to use just our wrists. We do not want to use our arms, none of that. We don't want our elbows. We don't want any of this. I don't know what this is. Don't do one of these. Don't do one of those. I don't know what you're doing anymore. Anyways, we want to make sure that we're nice and even. We will always start with our right hand to start. So we want to start with our right hand before our left hand. Let's go over the notes that we have, and let me give you a cool view of that. Oh, hi. I'm still not that tall. Bye. All right, so we have a bird's eye view of our bell kit here, which is really important when we go to play. The first note that we're going to talk about is note number three. And for percussion, we call that D, which is right here. And that's the first note that we're going to play. Now, remember, we want to make sure that our, our hands are using the correct grip. We're not all the way up here. We don't want to be up here. We want to be right around down here to allow about two to three inches there. And we want to make sure it's just our wrist. Can you give me four Ds like this? Let me hear it. Oh, I'm just kidding, I can't actually hear you, but I bet you're playing it, which is pretty great. And if you can do that, see if you can go back and forth. Right, left, right, left. Uh-oh, Mr. Black played a C instead of a D. Let me do it again. Right, left, right, left. And if you can do that, you're in really good shape, friends. All right, dad joke. Time for a dad joke. All right. Okay, so here's your dad joke. Ready? Here we go. Okay, here we go. Ready? Why are the horsies and the snowmen Best friends. Somebody tell me. Who's gonna tell me? Yes? There's there's nobody here. It's just just me. The answer. Nobody knows. Get it? Cause knows. Get it? Get it? It's pretty fun, cause like carrot and horse. It wasn't a good joke. Okay, all right. Well, I'll see you next week and we'll cover more in next week's YouTube video. Check it out, guys. See you later. Alligator peace out, sour crowd.